Today we are going to tell the story of Joseph with the coats of many colors. The Great Family. Jacob had 12 sons. One, two, Jacob was the favorite son. One day his father gave him a coat made of many colors. It made his brothers jealous. There was twelve heads. So one night, Joseph had a dream. He and his brothers were working in a field, gathering wheat. And suddenly, Joseph's bundle rose up, and all the rest bowed down to it. All the wheat bowed down to Joseph's wheat. his brothers this dream, and they hated him even more. They wondered if Joseph could, would rule over them. Joseph had One night, Joseph had another dream. He dreamt that the eleven stars bowed down to him. He told his brothers and his father and mother about the stream, and they all wondered, is Joseph going to rule over us, all of us? So one day when the brothers were out in the field, they, Jacob sent Joseph to see what they were doing. The brothers saw Joseph coming, and they said, oh, let's kill him. But the oldest brother, he said, no, let's don't kill him. So they decided to place him into a pit. Soon a, a caravan came along and they offered to buy Joseph with 20 pieces of silver. So they took Joseph away 
And then the brothers took the coat and they dipped it in blood and they took it back to Jacob. And Jacob saw it and they said, an animal had killed Joseph. And the father, Jacob, weeped and weeped. So the caravan, the caravan that came along took Joseph to Egypt. The captain of Pharaoh's army named Hortbar purchased him. Hortbar's wife had Joseph sent to jail, but Joseph remained close to God and God to him. Some of the Pharaoh's servants were in jail with Joseph. They had dreams and Joseph was able to interpret them. When the Pharaoh's servants were released from jail, and found out that the Pharaoh was having dreams, they told him that Joseph, who was in prison, could tell him what his dreams were about. So the Pharaoh called for Joseph. The Pharaoh's dreams have two parts. First, there were seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. The thin cows ate the fat ones. And then he dreamed there were seven fat and fat cows and seven ears of corn. He wondered what that meant. The thin ones swallowed up the good cows. Joseph told the Pharaoh that the, his dream meant that there would be seven good years of, of crops and seven followed by seven years of bad crops. He told Pharaoh this was a warning to save the grain during the good years so that when the food was not there in the bad years people would have food to eat. The lands near Egypt also had bad years and people roamed to Egypt to get food. So Jacob said his sons to Egypt to get food. Well, Joseph recognized them, but he didn't say anything. And he gave them food and he sent them back. And he sent most of the brothers back, but he kept a couple of them with him. Then the brothers came back, or they went home and they gave Jacob the food. And Jacob says, oh good. And the brothers went to join the other brothers in Egypt. And Joseph told them who he was. So Joseph and his family spent the rest of their days in Egypt. And when Joseph died, or Jacob, when Jacob died, Joseph took him back home and buried him. And then they all came back and lived in Egypt. And the children would become slaves for centuries and centuries. So I wonder what is the most important part of the story? I wonder what your favorite part is. I wonder why Jacob gave Joseph a coat and not the others. I wonder what part of the story do you like best? 
I wonder if there's a part in here that you could be in. I wonder if we could leave out some of the story. Now you need to wonder and write down your responses. <laughs>